Hi, my name is Siddharth Shukla from Mirchi Plus, and today I have with me someone who's not only extremely gorgeous from outside, but also someone who stands always stands for something which is needed, which is important, which is very relevant for the society. Uh, a very warm welcome, uh, Neha. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm so glad that we are going to talk about parenting. We are talk going to talk about childcare, which is actually very important because it's the children, uh, you know, who we nurture to grow up what they become so yeah. my i would like to start by asking about the homeschooling how homeschooling is important for you uh, you know parallelly with the normal schooling well i feel that uh, you know when it comes to parents and you know so when you say homeschooling do you mean homeschooling like um, a as an institution and not sending your children to school at all or the things you teach for your children that at home? The yeah, so what you teach your children at home, I feel like it, it has to be, firstly you need to believe in the institution that you're sending your kids to and you need to work in sync with them and also parallelly you need to work as parents as to what you want out of your children. Like for us, me and Anga, it's all, of, all about making sure that you have the right value system for your children and that's the most important thing but when it comes to um, you know the the academic part of it we leave it to the school and we don't interfere with that process so yeah it's it's a mix of both and and a lot of our our, our teachings at home are built on trust on respect on um, you know communication on sharing and I'm hoping that we can maintain that in the years to come Amazing. Uh, talking about value system, uh, we see a lot of trolling that happens on social media and sometimes I must say it's bad trolling and most of the times we see the comments are by very young kids. Um, what do you think? Should there be any, you know, uh, surveillance on, you know, the time or, uh, you know, the amount of time, the uh, the number of hours a kid is using on um, social, using social media platforms or maybe the gadgets because after COVID was a ruri bhi ho gaya hai. So how do you maintain that balance uh, with your kids? I think you've taken the question from somewhere to another point, but you've started from trolling, so let's address that. Yeah. I really think that there, there have to be checks. Uh, when it comes to social media, there are lots of agencies that have been implemented. I know that Nickelodeon in the past has also done, um, you know, really great work when it comes to that. But when it comes to, you know, uh, the, the, the second half, when it comes to screen time, I feel like in our house, the rule is, because we don't stop and restrict our child, that's why I've seen at an average my daughter doesn't take more than 30 minutes of screen time a day. So I feel like the more you resist, the more it persists. And post COVID, they know they have screen time available. But even on flights, like sometimes we take two and a half hour flights and I'm like, okay, on the flight you get about, you know, you can read your book for an hour, you can do coloring, sleep, or maybe use the iPad for about 20 minutes with your headphones. And that's usually not uh, something that she, she fights for or she's greedy for because nobody ever says no to her. So you need to communicate and tell her that there, there, there is the iPad, but there are other things in life that are better for you. So talking about the campaign, uh, you are associated with a campaign one of a kind. Uh, would you like to elaborate on that? I've, I mean, most definitely. So, you know, uh, when, when you talk about um, the campaign, there's so Nickelodeon came up with this initiative called Together for Good. And, you know, over the years, they've been touching very important um, topics that have been prevalent in society and when it comes to children. So whether it comes to, you know, cyberbullying, whether it comes to, you know, um, um, one of a kind where it's very important to, um, to today's, in today's voice, it's very important to raise your children uh, with absolutely no pressure, yeah. uh, with, uh, with the idea that they are really one of a kind, do not um, thrive on comparison, do not make them believe that they are not winners yeah. till they don't have a medal around their neck. I feel there has to be inclusion and inclusivity uh, from all sides, parents, teachers, kids, everywhere. And that's what makes your child one of a kind. I feel like there's a magic in each one of us and it needs to be tapped into. And I'm so glad that today I'm associated with Nickelodeon for, for such a wonderful uh, kind of initiative. Also because I, I believe in it, you know, it comes, it, it really does come from a right place. And this is the conversation I feel like me and my husband had five years ago before having our children. And this is what we wanted out of them. And I'm so happy to be talking about it. Um, like you mentioned pressure so my I would really like to address the mental health for children yes. which is um, we usually address mental health but for children uh, we 
uh, we don't usually hear the conversations that are there like there they should be more awareness about it do you think marks uh, grading systems and sometimes i've seen uh, you know parents scolding and even beating them for that matter uh, being very strict uh, on the curriculum and on the marking systems do you think it affects uh, the mental health of children I mean, if I were to say, no, not at all, it doesn't and it shouldn't be happening, I'm completely wrong. Let's not live in a fool's paradise. Of course it does. It puts children under pressure. I feel like an evaluation uh, would be more appropriate as, and to see a progress report would be more appropriate. And uh, I mean, it, it's a long way before we can get uh, away from the numbering system when it comes to education. but talking about it and the amount of pressure it puts on your child would at least spark a conversation and I don't think any of that is worth it to put your child under any sort of pressure. Yeah. We're talking about children and we're talking about education, you know, to make the environment safer. We say like we need to teach um, especially our boys, you know, uh, about the safety, about respecting, about equality. Um, I also want to talk about sex education for children which is very important because bahut zyada bar aisa hota hai log baat nahi karna chahte hain uski wajah se sometimes they are you know wo usse alag rehte hain do you think it affects uh, them in any manner i feel that there is the right time and right place to talk to children about it. and i know for a fact that it is included when it comes to schools to talk about you know there are experts uh, that you talk about it as parents you need to know when to educate your child about it um you need to make your um uh, children more aware of where to draw the boundary both when it comes to uh, you feeling that there is some sort of violation or um the other way around so you need you need to start uh, with defining boundaries then going on to talking about you know um sex education and when it comes to schools i know that it's an included curriculum in a lot of places and it's an important conversation to be had because there's no point shutting it all in a box and whispering about it and then going to another corner when um it is it can be you know the root cause of a lot, lot of problems if you don't have that conversation lastly you are a mother of beautiful children i want to ask is there any special mantra that you and angad uh, you know swear by ke as a, a parenting rule maybe that you have in your house i mean as couples we always you know one always fights and argues and things like that because you know that's that's also a sign of love and you know having differences also means you're your own people but we never like raise our voice um in our voices in front of our children and that's a very big no go and we don't do that no matter what it is we have a conversation later and uh, that's one big rule and the most important one is to raise our children just in you know we try and build a cave a cocoon a home that's that's just thriving on love and for everything else i feel like you know we'll figure it out as life goes by because the more love you give them the more love they store and then they have that much more love to give others amazing that was amazing talking to you neha thank you for joining thank us mirchi plus thank, thank you, you. hi everyone i'm neha dupia and you're watching me on mirchi plus thank you